Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Learning Script. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a smart contract inside the IDE and also going to show you how to call this method once we have deployed on the main on the testnet. And this all can be done without writing a single line of code. So which makes the workflow very easy. So before we start, let's again go to the official website, script.io. So in this case, let's go to downloads. And in the desktop ID section, we can click read user menu. So basically this is the documentation for our ID. So everything I cover in this video, they can be, you can find the reference in this documentation. So before everything, let's uh, first, we have to generate an address, which is used to find the deployment on the testnet. So how do we do that? If we go to commands, so basically this is a list of all the Visual Studio code commands that uh, Script offers to simplify your tasks. So you can find these commands by control shift and P if you are your own Linux or Windows. Otherwise you can press control shift and P if you are on Mac OS as me. So let's come back to our ID, control shift and P. And if you type for S script, so this shows all the list of available commands that uh, S script offers. So because we are going to generate private key, let's just select the first one and hit enter. So right now we can see a private key has been generated and it also shows the corresponding address. In this case, the private key is for testnet. So don't worry about uh, uh, your private key, even if it's exposed, because it's not, not on the mainnet and we do not collect uh, user private key. So once we have this address, let's copy it. And we have two faucet here. Let's go to the second one just uh, for this example. So we can see now we went to this uh, faucet, let's copy paste the earlier address we, we generated and not a robot and then click send Bitcoin. And now we should uh, receive some uh, test coins. So just in the side note here, because uh, this only give you a little bit of a test coin at one time at a single request. So if you want to more test coins, you can do this multiple times. So once we have coins, Let's come back to our ID. So we need to tell our ID, this is our, uh, the address or the private key we want to use. How do we do that? Let's copy the private key here. So let's be, actually before we do that, let's get back to the earlier link we showed. Basically it shows all the settings in the, our S, uh, ID, so you can see, find all our settings here. So let's go back to VS Code. You can go to click Code, Preference, and then Settings. Then you can, from the user settings, you can click S Script. So this gives you all the S Script related settings. So in this case, we are because we are working on testnet, and we can copy and paste the private key here. Uh, this one, we can copy and paste paste here. And now we can find out, oh, we already have some test coins which can show up here in the lower right. So now we have set up some uh, address and also we have uh, found it with some test coins. We also have set up the private key. What can we do now? So I'm still going to use the example we had last time the basically the simplest uh, script contract with just one main function. So you can right click, there's an option called deploy contract. It has two options, but let's choose, choose the first one, debug mode. So let's just click and go. Deploy contract. And then it is this uh, panel you can see. On the left, you can also see this is for uh, script deploy panel on the left hand side. So let's actually enlarge it. So you can see uh, in this case, we can put some uh, 
coins in in the UTXO that contains the con this contract. So because we don't have any parameters to set, we can just use all the default value and we can just click deploy. And here we go. And it says this contract has already been deployed. And this is the transaction ID of the deployment uh, transaction. So we can also check from here, this contract we just been deployed. And also this is the transaction ID, the prefix of the transaction ID. So if you want, you can you can see the transactions involved with with this uh, contract. So if you if you really want to look at the transaction, you can click on this menu, view transaction, and we we'll take you to the block explorer. In our case, we use what's on chain. So you can see this is a contract we have deployed. So so far so good, right? Very easy. So once we have deployed. And we can also check, double check is in a block explorer, it has been submitted to the network. What can we do next? Next, we can call the method of this contract. In this case, which is main. So we can uh, expand on the main here. We can say call it. And in this call, we are going to set the parameters because in this case, there's only one parameter, which is X. So we are going to try it. So first, actually, let's do one experiment. Let's, what about we set x to be 1? OK, and this is the, once we spend it, we have to decide which output we are going to send it to. In this case, we use the so-called public, uh, pay to public key hash output, which is the simplest. Basically, when you send uh, some coin from Alice to Bob, in, by default, you use this format. So we can generate the output. We can say, let's uh, say, let's send uh, 1,000 coins there. And uh, now everything else, we just use the default value. We can just say call main. Okay, here, here we go. It shows some uh, the script evaluate failed. Basically, without going into too much detail, basically this statement, in the S script language, make sure X has to be equal to zero because we're using one. Obviously, this one fails. So that's why the contract cost is failed, has failed. And the coins cannot be moved. If you recall the our what we talked about in the episode one, we explicitly said about the contract model. This function has to return true for this coin to move. But right now it uh, returns false. So Let's do some uh, simple change. I think uh, it's not e hard to figure out if we put zero here, this should go, uh, the call should succeed, right? Let's try it here, call main. And here we go, it actually succeed. So call succeeded. We can also, if we come back to this panel, it uh, succeeded and you, we can also show this is the transaction that's that's successful. So this is default. This is the deployed transaction, the first one. This is the second one that calls the previous transaction. So we can also double check by clicking view transaction here. It also takes us to another uh, window for what's on chain. You can see here it has successfully unlocked the coins locked up in the previous transaction. You can even double check the transaction hash here, it, exactly the one we showed up here. This transaction is being spent by the next transaction showed up here. So, okay, to quickly wrap up, I think we have just showed you how to deploy and call a contract just within the ID. I hope this is helpful and I look forward to see you in, in the next videos. Thank you.